My favorite character was Jip the dog. My favorite part in the story of Dr. Doolittle was when Dr. Doolittle met the Push Me Pull You. My favorite part of the story was when Dr. Doolittle healed all the monkeys in Africa. <laughs> Do you know who walks with the animals, who talks with the animals? Why, it's Dr. Doolittle, of course, and we have a Utah author here with us, uh, Melissa Dalton Martinez. Thank you so much. You've adapted these beautiful stories, and I have to say, you're not only here with us, but you also brought a friend along, too, didn't you? I did, yeah. So, Dr. Doolittle's dog is named Jip, <laughs> and so I brought Jip. Oh, Jip, yeah. welcome. Is, and Jip's a little tired right now. It's like afternoon nap time, so. Oh, totally. He's Completely. just kind of hanging out at the moment. But if you look at the covers of the Dr. Doolittle books, you will see Jip on the covers, which is really fun. So, I, I mean, you can see like that one right behind me. You've got it on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Jip was a massive inspiration to me for this book. Now, I took the origin story of Dr. Doolittle. So, Dr. Doolittle, uh, many of us have you know, heard of him, there's been movie adaptions, and it's pretty much a beloved character. However, the original 1920s version actually had things in it that are just not appropriate for today's children. <laughs> I can believe that, I can believe that. Yeah, and you know, while I think that Hugh Lofting, the original author, was brilliant, he was a product of his time in 1920, and being a mother, I just thought, I can't, I can't show that to my children. So it started out as a master's thesis project, actually, um, where I was supposed to take a book in public domain and kind of redo it. Um, but then also, not just the writing, but the original illustrations were not great. Right. So I knew of this brilliant illustrator that is also someone here from Utah. His name is Tom Tolman. And you can see these gorgeous illustrations that he did. And he is just one of the kindest people too. And so he's also a parent and agreed, yeah, let's, let's redo this. So uh, we got together, we started working on it. And then after we finished the novel, we, we took a look and went, oh my goodness, you know what? There is so much cool art in here. And I said, hey, Tom, how about we do a coloring and activity book? And he was all gung ho. And we, as you can see, we have dot to dots, we have mazes, I really we have love coloring those. pages. Um, and, and I couldn't stop. So I kept going and I said, we need a five minute bedtime story for kids. Cause I know my little ones at, at nighttime, they love picture books, which are pretty and bright. And as a parent, I don't particularly want to read a book for 40 minutes right before bedtime when we're all tired with a little one. Well, so, are your kids liking these stories? They have to be, right? Yeah, they are. And, and actually, the kids, they were a huge inspiration and, and they helped a lot with this. So um, I have a nine-year-old who uh, is in fourth grade, just barely, and he is brilliant and I say that you know yeah I'm a mom but no he really is he's probably going to be a veterinarian or <laughs> marine biologist and he knows everything about animals so when we were trying to pick the illustration style he picked it actually um, and then he would help us and look at pictures um, and also I, I have two other children I have an 11 year old in sixth grade and a six year old in first grade and they were my testers for the coloring and activity books so all of them spent time we went through art together we picked do we want a maze do we want a color by number and they literally spent hours working with me on this coloring and activity books. So this is this is really wonderful. Melissa, where can folks uh, find this if they want to buy it? Uh, where, where should they go? So they can buy it anywhere books are sold online and in many bookstores. And I would suggest go to your local independent bookstore. I mean, just right here in Salt Lake City, you have the King's English, you know, and Sandy, the Printed Garden. I mean, all over you can find these books. And I think get, get all three, um, you know, <laughs> really. Absolutely, get all three. <laughs> you know what, uh, it's a great book, you guys, all three of them. Make sure you get them. Uh, we're going over to Jenny. Jenny, what's coming up? 